Hello and welcome. Today we are going over the 2015 Aston Martin V8 Vantage S and we are going to see how good it is in Grand Turismo 7. So if you guys do want to enjoy this video, well, hit that like and subscribe button. So for 180,000 credits, you can pick up this baby Aston Martin. So for the baby as it was nicknamed, this vehicle comes with 429 brake horsepower and a weight of 1610 kgs now this is the oldest aston martin that you can purchase in brand central and we're gonna see as to why you actually need to own this car so if we head on over to k auto driving park to just test the vehicle out well we're gonna see some pretty decent performance so the vehicle bone stock it has more than enough power to light up the rear wheels. With it being front engine rear wheel drive, Aston Martin really focused on the pursuit to find and perfect the driving experience in an Aston Martin. That was their whole goal with the Aston Martin V8 Vantage S and I think they may have nailed it. Now if we compare this vehicle to modern day Astons or modern day sports cars, yes it, you can feel or you can notice that the age is there. You can pick that up immediately. However, the car doesn't feel that outdated. It doesn't scream, oh, you can feel it's a bit of an old car. Look, when you come down the straightaway, you're going to be clocking about 220, 230 kilometers per hour, which isn't really that fast. But to be honest with you, when it comes to cornering, that's where the Aston Martin V8 Vantage really shines. This car just has the ability to put a smile on your face, to keep you happy, to just enjoy the overall experience in this Aston. Because it has just the right amount of power to get the tail in to step out and for you to just have control and enjoy the slide. Or if you don't want to slide, well, you can just go around the corners extremely quickly. So, around Kyoto Driving Park, with the vehicle in its standard state, you will be finding yourself setting lap times around the 1 minute 52, 1 minute 51 second mark, which, relatively compared to other modern day sports cars, isn't really that far off. Uh, if we compare it to an to a Porsche around the same time period you are gonna find very similar results when it comes to lap times. Now the Aston Martin 480,000 credits it is quite affordable and it's not really a break in the bank vehicle but if we're looking on just price points you can pick up the Porsche Cayman which is a lot newer and to be honest with you just a lot better in a standard state and it is a bit cheaper but regardless the Aston Martin V8 Vantage S is a fantastic vehicle and let's say you want to see what it's fully capable of well to do that you need to head on over to a tuning shop now once we head on over to a tuning shop we are actually going to notice that we have quite a lot of parts that we can put onto this vehicle now usually when it comes to your sports cars a lot of them have a lot of parts that are not applicable however with the Aston Martin V8 Vantage S you will find that this vehicle even has ultimate parts to just give the vehicle an extra nudge of performance so after spending quite a bit of credits in the tuning shop well you're gonna be left with 772 brake horsepower and a weight of 1191 kgs now this on paper i can tell you right away is going to be a super fun vehicle it isn't extremely lightweight so it's not going to be setting blistering fast lap times but overall we should get some really fantastic performance out of this aston when it comes to the body modifications well, we have a single front lip, we have a single side skirt option, a single diffuser as well as a single rear wing option and that wing is the custom rear wing option. So, I mean we have parts to make it look 
like a mini group for race car which is interesting and it will help a lot when it comes to tuning the downforce of the vehicle so now when it comes to downforce we have 120 in the front and 340 in the rear which honestly should be enough because we'll find that vehicles will have less downforce but still able to go around corners extremely fast because of the downforce so this is a reasonable amount of downforce and should have us setting some fast lap times and when i tell you when i went around the first corner around kyoto driving park this car handled like it was on rails it is such a fun vehicle that will set the same consistent lap times back to back I was setting lap times within one second, not even one second, one hundredth of a second difference between laps. That's how close I was just being able to push the vehicle and it delivered the same performance. It was so easy to understand. There were no surprises. The vehicle wasn't just going to randomly snap and run it throw you into a wall. This car is easy to control. It has a lot of power so to a point where you can get the vehicle to step out however it isn't really lighting up the racing soft tires so if you're looking for a real slidey boy well you're really gonna have to force it out of the Aston because the Aston doesn't really want to go that far it just wants to set fast lap times and do you proud it just wants to make you happy and just show that hey look I'm actually worth using. Now, when it comes to money grinding events, it is a bit on the bad side, like fuel economy wise. On fuel map level 6, around the WTC 700 around the 1, you'll only get 2 laps of fuel out of this vehicle, and you're gonna be setting lap times well over the 4 minute mark, which frankly doesn't make it eligible in my books. However, it's still a good option when it comes to the other events in Grand Turismo 7. Well, it's actually really good. It's very competitive and overall for cost effectiveness, it does what it needs to do. And it's really up there with one of my favorite Astons. I'm not even going to lie to you. It's really good and the fact that a lot of people just skip over it because they see, ah, oh, it's old, it's a bit outdated. No one gives it a chance. However, that's not the case. You're missing out on quality. This Aston Martin put a smile on my face. It pleased me with how good the performance was. And overall, it's a good car. It's a solid 7 out of 7.5 out of 10. Like it's not perfect. If it had bits of fuel efficiency, it would be higher up on the list. But overall, it's a really good vehicle. And if you haven't tried it out, by all means, I suggest that you do because you won't regret it and you can also use this vehicle by detuning it and get it to participate in the WTC 600 around Tokyo Expressway so this Aston Martin even around here also driving park says lap times around a 1 minute 32 second mark 1 minute 31 second mark, which is incredibly fast for how much you paid for it and overall just the performance of it so the Aston Martin V8 Vantage S from 2015 a very good car especially if you just want to have a load of fun and sit really fast lap times so if you guys do want to enjoy this video don't forget leave a like and subscribe for more Grand Silver 7 content and I'll see you guys in the next one peace